Hi, I'm Eric Schmidt from WM Noby & Company. Today I'm going to show you AutoTrack setup and operation with the GS3 2630. To get started we're going to go down to our main menu icon in the lower right. Then we're going to go to our GS3 icon. From there we're going to go to Guidance. And we're going to look at our tabs on the top. The first thing we need to do to turn Guidance on is go to Guidance Settings. And we're going to set our tracking mode. Today we're going to use straight track lines. Next, we need to come over to our shift track settings. We're going to set our shifts to small shifts or large shifts so we can use the center track feature later. When we're done with that, we'll go back to our view. We can use this screen to run guidance as well as using one of our home screens. In order to get our first piece of the pie to our second piece of the pie, first thing we need to do is set an AB line, which would just be a straight track line. To do that, we're going to go down to set track zero, and we're going to punch in new. There's multiple different methods that you can use. Today I'm going to show you how to use an A plus heading line. Now the heading would be the degrees you're desired to travel. So zero would be north, 90 would be east, 180 south, 270 west, and back at 360 or zero for north. So if we wanted to set our position where we're at right now and put a desired heading as due north, we put our set A and hit accept. This is very useful when wanting to use a tillage pass at a certain degrees or harvesting at an angle, spraying at an angle, or even if you know you have perfectly straight fields to just get that first pass right from the get-go. So now, as you can see, we have two pieces of the pie on the right-hand side. In order to get the third piece of the pie, we're going to simply hit our steering wheel button and then to engage we have multiple different options. On a tractor there is an auto track resume button next to the SCVs. On sprayers you're going to use a button that's on the multifunction handle. On combines you have three different ways to engage. There's going to be an auto track resume button on the multifunction handle. If you press your two resume to cut height a second time it will engage guidance after it drops your head to your cut height. And if you hit your third position on the multifunction handle on a combine, it will not only drop your, your header to the cut height, but also engage auto track. Once we've engaged, a couple different things that, that we might need to know later on is one, where to set our center track. So if we come back after lunch or the next day and our line has drifted off, we can reset that lat long position in reference to where we're at by hitting this button right up here. If our guidance function is not very good and we need to do some fine tuning to our auto track we can do that by coming down to main menu going back to GS3 guidance and then we'll go to guidance settings again there we'll go to advanced auto track settings we can set the line sensitivity tracking the heading the heading lead steering response rate acquire sensitivity and curve sensitivity if you need further assistance with setting these values please contact myself or another qualified John Deere Integrated Solutions Consultant. Thanks. Bye.